Um, on Monday, uh, Supreme Court Justice Ruth G Bader Ginsburg on Egyptian TV said, quote, I would not look to the U.S. Constitution if I were tr drafting one in the year 2012. Um, you couple that with the individual mandate of Obamacare and what he's done with the uh, contraceptions. Do we live in a post-constitutional nation? Do we live in a post-constitutional nation? <laughs> Listen to Mark Levin. Um, here's what I think it means. My fear is we live in a country right now in which we have a president who does not hold that document sacred. We live in a country right now where this thing that our founders set up not that long ago is ever so close to being lost. Yeah, it's been going on for a damn long time though. It's been going on for a while. Both parties have crept us along this path. Um, and I'd argue that this president has taken it to frightening heights. And you know what? Here's something politicians never like to say. This is all your fault. You, 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 and yes, you, my Arbor, this is your fault. Because we have all slept for years. <coughs> we've slept for 40 to 50 years. We've lived our lives, raised our kids, tried to start a business, tried to go on vacation whenever we could. Every two or four years an election would come along. We really didn't pay attention. And we typically vote for the one name we knew. And a funny thing happened. We woke up 40 years later and we found out we're broke. We found out we have a government that's doing things our government was never, ever designed to do. Shame on us for letting it get that way. You know, we're all upset about these professional politicians these Republicans and Democrats who go to Washington and they stay there forever and they get rich and they forget about us, right? Makes us all mad, right? Who sends them there? Right. Who, who them sends there? them there? Who leaves them there for years? And now, I, I think we've woken up, which is a good thing. I think this president has helped wake us up because... Look, if we'd have elected John McCain three years ago, it might have just sort of been, we'd sort of be crawling along the same path. But this president hasn't been crawling. This president has been running. He has been running down a road which every single step he takes moves us farther from the America that we all grew up loving and believing in. And I'm telling you, folks, we are so precariously close to losing it. Um, uh, Budget Committee Chairman Paul Ryan is, uh, in the next couple of weeks, going to release the uh, New, New Year's budget. Uh, what do you think should be included in that doom budget? Again, it, 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 in my dream budget, there are dramatic cuts. I'd be very specific about actual program eliminations, and there'd be real entitlement reform i.e., here's Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security, and here are real reforms to save these programs. Let me just make one point. This president hasn't put forth a serious budget. Harry Reid just came forward again and said, we're not going to do a budget again this year. So the Republicans in the House are the only ones doing the bare minimum of their job to present a budget. I hope it's got real cuts, because here's what I believe. Every dollar, right, every dollar that Washington doesn't spend is a dollar that we do. So my goal in life is just to eliminate all those dollars that Washington spends so that you can spend them here at the fire <laughs> or invest them in your family or start a business.